How's it going, everyone? My name is Marcos Plyer. What's up? How are we doing tonight? We have a Spike Myth Cup tournament going on right now. Let me, I feel like my microphone's a little loud. Let me turn that down. Yeah, we have a Spike Myth Cup tournament going on right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to find a game immediately. Yeah, we're playing Spike Myth Cup, uh, Spy Spyra. Winter Wolf. This is their first game, I think. Ooh, ooh. You don't want to lead off competitive versus them. Or you lose. Or you just lose. If you lead off competitive, you lose, sir. Good day, sir. You lose. Um, quick guard Zapdos goes kind of crazy. My trick room mode also goes pretty crazy, but I have to be really careful with that, uh, that uh, stupid big Snorlax. They can also double my stack. Do I... Do I lead off Kingdra and Quick Guard? I kind of want to lead off Kingdra and Quick Guard. I could also... Because they're going to lead off with the Fake Out Mon, I think. You know what, let's... Do I go for Old Reliable? I think I go... I'm going to go for Old Reliable. Let's go for Old Reliable. Uh, we'll bring Politoed Bulu. Old Reliable's just stack attack as Aptos. Their first Pokemon was Milotic. Sorry, I, I was covering it up. Zapdos, Kangaskhan. Okay. This is effectively the lead that I want. Unless this is like Choice Band Zapdos, I should eat this up. Like Reese's Puffs. However, they could also double me, which is not great. But there's literally no chance they call the Quick Guard. Yep. Great Bird, my Zapdos, you won't. Thunderous Kick, I eat that up. Like I told you. Like I told you. It's like Rhesus Puffs. Alright. Get a little bit of a defense drop. Not not very poggers. My body press does less now. My body press is indeed doing less. Um, I think I cycle out my stack here. It's, it's risky to not cycle out my stack because it could be... I'm going to close combat you, because I'm honestly more concerned with, um... Go Politoed. I'm more concerned with uh, Kangaskhan having, like, a low kick now, because Kangaskhan will underspeed my Zapdos. Unless it's, like, Last Resort, though, I should be fine. Withdraw the Kangaskhan, okay. Who's getting close combated? Milotic, I'm fine with that. Because this is going to do a lot of damage. Probably put it in range of body press. Oh, they're going to switch too. Give me Defiant? Possibly? Snorlax? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Decent damage. Decent damage. Do I sack the Zapdos here though? Does I go down to about everything? I think my play here is going to go Bul is going to be to go Bulu and scald their uh, Snorlax and fish for a burn. It's probably Belly Drum Snorlax. Snorlax goes crazy in this format. Luckily though, after scald, if I get a burn, it should be in range of like Rock Slide or Body Press or whatever. Body Slam, okay. Dude, paralyze me, I would love that. Thank you. All right, I'm under speeding everything. Burn. Nothing is safe. They're all getting undersped. I can't get burned. I'm literally just too thick. I'm literally just too thick. Guys, do I underspeed this this Snorlax? Let me run some math. Let me do some quick math. I 
I love that I have all this time to run the math. 31. No, I don't. But I do totally live a hit. Withdraw the Milotic, okay. If I get this off, this is huge. I could underspeed if they're not zero speed IVs. Oh, I underspeed. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, I think paralysis, if, if they get, listen, all right, I know I'm a big advocate for removing as much RNG as possible from this game, but I think that maybe if they get rid of, um, if they get rid of the chance to fully paralyze, paralysis might be a little bit broken if you know how to use it. Cause I was really scared of getting fully paralyzed there. And if there wasn't, if, there, if it wasn't for that fear, I would have totally like, I, I would have always done that, like, 100% of the time. Like, there was no reason not to. I'm gonna go for a Protect here. And, uh, Scald into Kang. I get fully paralyzed, that kind of sucks. If I get a burn, I'll be happy. Ice Beam would KO me from that range. Burn? Everything's going right. No? Okay. Stack attack, it can come out, though. I can, like, helping hand rock sled. Crit probably didn't matter. I think there's one more turn of trick room. No, it twisted dimensions to turn to normal. That's fine. I go Zapdos here. Uh, Milonic's in range of plus combat. I can just Scald into you. Because if they go Zapdos, I have a chance to burn, which makes it fine. I think I only win if I can get a 2v1. Nice. Thank you, Zapdos. Very cool. If this doesn't burn, I probably lose. Body slam. Live? Oh, you totally live that. You're Zapdos. You totally... Oh, okay. Still not the end of the world, but not great. Burn? Yes, okay. Cool. Uh, obviously, Facade is scary. Facade is quite scary. Uh, but we just pretend like that isn't a thing that they can do. We literally just pretend. Sometimes pretending is your, your best option. So, something to note is... I think I always go for the Brave Bird into their Zapdos as well as Scald here. Um, because they have to attack... They would have to, like, Brave Bird my Zapdos to KO. Oh, they're Drill Pack. Okay. So, I, I stand corrected. They are Drill Pack. Hopefully, they're not Facade. Drain Punch, that's fine. That does almost nothing. So I get two Scalds off, and I think I win in the 1v1 versus this Kangaskhan. Uh, if I, honestly, I think I just win. Because they have to attack Stack Attacko. Burn? No burn. Hmm. Not very Poggers. But their best move versus my Politoda is going to be to close combat. So I will get that. While they will be dealing a lot of damage, I don't think they actually KO me with this uh, Kangaskhan now. So I, I'm actually going to do this. Because I don't need to... I don't necessarily need to set up Trick Room. And I really got a fish for this burn. I also still have my berry, which is nice. Thunderous kick. See what it's into. Into stack, that's fine. 
If I get this burn, I'm in a really good spot. I'm due for a burn. Not for a paralysis. Not for a paralysis. I'm not due for that yet. I'm not due. Yes! Okay. Should be able to pull this one off. Yeah, I should be able to pull this one off. Uh, I protect here to optimize uh, just my plays, you know. And then the next Scald into Zapdos KOs, and Kangaskhan doesn't have power up punch this gen, so we're good. <laughs> so we're good. Spike Myth is such a good format. I'm telling you, Dynamax destroys all fun in this game. Did I have fun playing it? Yes, but I had to make my own fun, and that's gross. Dynamax is the sand castles of Pokemon. <laughs> Ew, you have to use your imagination? No. Just kidding, Dynamax kills animation. <laughs> animation, imagination. Yeah, and I still have my berry and stuff, so I'm like, fine. However, Thunderous Kick into Body Slam would hurt. Doesn't do that much, though. If I get fully paralyzed here, that would be very, very bad. And then I just straight up lose. Okay, they drain punch, that's fine. Body slam, I think, is the better play because it deals more damage. Um, but I think they're fishing for health here just to not get stalled out. But this Scald should do it unless I get, like, the lowest roll. Yeah, we're good. Then I protect here, and then I Scald, and then I protect, and then I Scald, and then I protect, and then I Scald. And so goes the Circle of Life. Any questions? I hope I don't see Ice Horse in this format. I'm sorry to tell you, Ice Horse is really good. Not as good as Dynamax, but still really good. All right, if I don't get put, if I don't get fully paralyzed this turn, I should win. Oh, they're just drain punching. I don't think drain punch is ever the play there, to be honest. Like, yeah, you're healing damage, but you need to fish for that para. Yeah. Because they're going to take some damage here, and then I protect, and then I scald. Circle of life and whatnot. Even if they crit me with, with body slam, they have to crit and para. Yeah, they're going for it now. They have to crit in full para, and even then I have a shot. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. I was like, wait a minute. It's happening. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. I gotta run to the bathroom, but that was a pretty good game. Ooh, okay. Uh, probably Drum Lax. Uh, I really, really like Zapdos on lead here, but I have to be really careful. Uh, Zapdos could be not great if uh, they lead off a certain way. It depends. It really depends. Um, I also can't taunt Hatterene. Stack attack is probably my best friend. I'm going to say that Zapdos, Incineroar, Tapu Bulu, Stack attack is probably my best play. Let's Clops Urshifu. It's not really a bad lead for me, to be honest. In fact, I quite like it. This is actually a pretty good lead. They see my goggles, they see my Shookaberry. They're probably going to assume that I'm... Let me taunt here. Not Quick Guard. 
They're probably going to assume that I'm running Taunt on my Zapdos now because they see uh, safety goggles, but I, I still have to do this just in case. First food attacks, that's fine. Nice. Okay. What do they have in the back? Nothing that likes Brave Bird, but I also don't like having to lock in a Brave Bird over close combat. I'm better off close combating. And Flare Blitz. I always just double here. All right, cool. That's that's amazing. No no focus sash. So, what's the item? Black glasses. Maybe safety goggles themselves. Who knows? I can't get Willow as pure, which is really nice. Shadow Ball. That's an interesting choice. I I would assume that maybe it's like weakness policy Hatterene, and that's why they have Shadow Ball. But Shadow Sneak's a little bit better for that. I really wish I got a Defiant boost from that, though. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, should be able to go for the Brave Bird pretty easily into this Araquanid. And I kind of want to just double, because it's not like they KO me. And this is just in case they're running, like, a Berry or something. I guess Parting Shot would be good, too, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be, like, Assault Vest Araquanid. Nice. One shot. Dude, Zapdos is going in this game. Zapdos is absolutely carrying. Get a little bit more damage there. We're going to get Shadow Balled again. Yep. I do go down. But it's not the end of the world, because as far as I can tell, they don't have any um, Stack Attack or Tapu Bulu answers anymore. Especially if I just go with both of them here and double that uh, Dust Clops. Hatterene. Yep. Cool. Uh, we're going to double the Dust Clops, and we should be good to win. There's not much Dust Clops can do about it. No, not close combat. We're in a Horn Leech. And we're in a Flare Blitz, and that should be good. Even if they go for, like, Ally Switch here. Because I could, I wasn't paying attention. They might have shaken off the Taunt. I wasn't paying attention. Even if they do shake off the Taunt and go for, like, Ally Switch, we're still in, like, a winning position because we're dealing too much damage to Hatterene. And Stack Attack a Hard Walls Out Hat. That's in range of Horn Leech. All right, Bulu, do the thing. Something to note, another reason why I, as a content creator, really love this format is uh, it's a lot easier to get thumbnails because you, you have good-looking images instead of big Dynamax Pokemon for every single thumbnail. That's another big reason I like this format. <laughs> I won't lie, that's, that's, that's a big reason. That's a big reason. Mystical Fire, that's not even going to come close. Okay, it came close. You Life Orb? No? Yes. Okay. How much do I get back from this? I'm going to guess, like, 60%. I'm going to get up to 60. Yeah, about, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's why, that's why Goggles Aptos with Taunt just goes in in this format. I think Quick Guard Taunt... Close Combat and Brave Bird is like the best Zapdos set possible because by running Safety Goggles, you're not scared. You're not scared to click Brave Bird like if you were running like Focus Sash because if you run Focus Sash, you kind of have to run Dual Wing Beat or Drill or Drill Peck, which those are just like lame moves in my opinion. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't like Dragapult. Can't lie, don't like Dragapult. Uh, Suicune's also like crazy in this format, to be honest, but uh, I see a pretty easy opening to get my Trick Room off. 
I just have to be a little bit careful. I think I always go Zapdos on lead here. I have to be careful, um, because if I don't get my Trick Room off, I lose. Okay. <laughs> PBFMV, leave the chat now. Now. You need to leave. Also, they know that I'm quick guard. That's not that's not very poggers. <laughs> You know, I, I, I kind of wish that, like, I wasn't a streamer sometimes, because I feel like it'd be easier to practice. Like, low-key, I feel like not being a streamer makes it a lot easier to get good at this game. Has anyone tried running Urshfu Dark plus Crocodile? If you're talking about Anger Point, it's the first thing everyone tried. It's the first thing everyone tried. Is this That's a Plus One? No, I don't think That's a Plus One's named Alex. When does the tour end? Uh, it's if you signed up, you should have at least two more hours to play in it. Can I get Trick Room off here? I think I can. I have to do this, though. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Marcos, get, get your act together. Come on. I should take that pretty well now. I think I'd probably take the double up too, unless it's like Surf Dragapult. Sick. Drain Punch? Sick. Hoggers, even. That still did a ton. Enough that I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. They should be anticipating a fake out though. Pretty sure this one shots. I'm a max attack, a stack attack. There's no way this doesn't one shot a Dragapult. Mr. 142 speed. Mr. I'm really, really fast. Mr. Switching out into something faster. All right, that's fine. I still have rock slide pressure, and you know, we're fine. No static. That does chunks that wasn't even a crit oh my wow hello <laughs> stack attack listen that uh, it's i'm you know stack attack is kind of mm, is making me a little you know stack attack is making me a little uh little little uh, little heated um i'm gonna do the funny All right, uh, I just rock slide here. It's pretty safe. If it's AV Cartana, it's gone. Probably. I would assume it's gone. Connect on both. I'm going to say that KO Zap. I think that's in range of close combat. It doesn't have a good HP stat. Alexis is alt. Eh, it could be that, so then. Nice, get the KO. This format is so freaking cool. The amount of interesting mons in the format is great. That's what I've been trying to tell everyone for the past... How many years has it been since... Uh, how many years has it been since this game came out? 2019, 2020, 2021, 2020. The past three years, that's what I've been trying to tell people. <laughs> is that Pokemon is so much cooler when you, don't ha when you don't have Dynamax turned on. The formats are just that much more like baller, you know? You feel cool playing the game, and you look cool. Well, I hope, you know. 
I can't really confirm that second one. Um, I did get an attack boost here. I did, in fact, get an attack boost here. Just double up this Dragapult. In case it's Sash. Nope, but that will KO. Nice. Oh no, I got a defense boost. I'm an idiot. I forgot I'm running the best stack attacka. Ooh, it is poison jab. Mike, thank you so much for the follow. It's probably game. Send in the incineroar. We're gonna body press this dude. Body press, fake out. Nice. Very clean game. Very uh, stack attack a heavy game. Is anyone else a stack attack a fan? I miss megas, but a format without gimmicks is by far the best. That's what I'm People. saying. Oh, look, it's first place. Uh, AV, get out. Get out! Be gone. We don't want you here anymore. Get out of here, Stinky. I know you're in chat because you said you were number one. Well, now you're about to be number whatever I knock you down to. We have a serious issue. It's that I don't know how I beat this. I'm sorry to tell you, I, do, I don't know how I beat this. It probably involves getting Trick Room off somehow, but I don't know how I do that. No Bulu this game. I know, I'm very brave. I'm very brave to take my, uh, take my training wheels off. I didn't realize that was a t-shirt. Bulu hard carries TBH? It really does. It's really the back Bulu of this team. Driftblim Lele. It would seem I'm the stinky guy who let off awful. It would seem I am indeed the stinky guy who let off bad. Do not cry for me. Do not cry. Uh, they should Tailwind here and go for like the Moonblast into one of my Pokemon. I don't know which one though. So I'm just going to protect the only one that can protect. <laughs> and go straight into Stack Attacka. Do not cry for me for I let off poorly. Be happy for I let off at all. I'm totally going to get Focus Blasted soon. I'm just going to put that out there. There's the Tailwind. Moonblast into the Kingdra because you're scared of me switching in the, the Politoed. Dazzling Gleam, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. That's perfectly fine. You're cool. We're awesome. I'm gaming. That was still a lot of damage that I'm not terribly comfortable with. I'm actually going to make a very bold prediction and say that my opponent here um, is running Taunt on one of these Pokemon. Which one? I don't know. Is that really my play, though? Or do I go Politoed? They have to have Taunt. They're, they're doing too well in this tournament to not have Taunt. They are literally doing too well to not have Taunt. If I can get rid of that Tailwind setter, we're probably able to win, but it's not going to be pretty. Good players have Taunt. They have Taunt. Will-O-Wisp? Okay, that's the other option.
That's gotta be like specs lately. I have an idea. I don't get off Trick Room in this game. But that's totally Specs Lele. I'm gonna put that right out there. Shadow Ball shouldn't KO me. Yep. Dazzling Gleam will do it though, especially after that special defense drop. I just need to connect this Icy Wind and I'm actually in a position where I can possibly win. Connect on both. Connect on both. Politoed, this is your only shot. Your one opportunity. Seize everything you've ever wanted right now. Thank you. Alright, we now outspeed Tapu Lele. We currently outspeed Tapu Lele. And we also double crit because we're absolutely good at this game. We are so good at this game, guys. It, it, I, sometimes I scare myself. Sometimes I actually scare myself with how good I am at this game. Uh, there are no real safe switch-ins here except for the, uh, the Bulu. Or not the Bulu. The, the, the wannabe Bulu. The wanna Bulu. Except for the wanna Bulu, there are no safe switches. I could get, like, scary-faced or something, though. That's, like, an option they have on the Drift Blim, which is kind of scary. And facey. Icy Wind. Oh, well, that's that's the other option. Maybe I'm still faster. I'm 95 base speed. I'm 95 base speed. Yes! Okay, it's possible. Got a double KO there. I still have rain. Their tailwind should run out soon. And I have some pretty fast Pokemon. Yep, tailwind's gone. I still have like two turns of rain. Urshifu has no options here. Rillaboom does. Rillaboom does have options. But I know what I do. Actually, I don't. Let me check something. Two turns left to rain. Okay, I know what I do. I need them to have, like, not clicked to the scary move. I need them to have not close combated my Kingdra. Surging Strikes. Okay, I can just barely eat that, I hope. Probably not. We're in the rain. Oh, no, I don't eat that. Ah, uh, we were close. We were close. Maybe I do. It's a low roll, low roll? No. Uh, yeah, that was very safe of my opponent. I, my only play there was to go into my, uh, my dude in quick guard. I'm not out of options. It's just looking very unlikely I win. There's a big difference. You can totally take a Grassy Glide. Yep, Kingdra goaded. That doesn't one-shot its AV! <laughs> no! <laughs> My money is that it's also like Sash on the on the Urshifu.
Okay, that's totally game. Good game. I've been I've been got. I'm trying to think, um, could I have won had I not switched out my Politoed? Or yeah, I think I could have. I think I could have. I should have just like scald and yeah, I would have eaten it. Because they just grassy glided that turn. Yeah, okay, that's it's just how it is. It's just how it is. I thought it was big brain. I thought they would close combat there. Alright, good game. I got time for one more.